The day of Arafah is the best day of the entire year. On that day, what should you be doing? You need to know it's the day, according to the hadith in Sahih Muslim, that Allah frees the maximum number, the most people from hellfire. So he writes names of people who are free from hellfire because of some good that they did. So do good throughout the season. You know, in the nights, the nights of Ramadan, there are a lot of people who are freed from hellfire. But during the day, the day, this is the day, the day of Arafah, subhanallah, the ninth of the Hijjah. So subhanallah, we must ask Allah to free us from hellfire. And in order to achieve that, we must be from those who've changed our lives, who sought forgiveness, who've promised Allah that we're not going to repeat the bad that we've been doing all along. And inshallah, we will find by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we will definitely be achieving a lot. You'll feel the change. You'll feel the difference. And in order to know whether Allah has actually accepted your tawbah or your repentance, you need to feel a slight change within you. And then you know, wow, I've changed. Meaning Allah has accepted my repentance by his will, by his father, by his grace, his mercy. Now, We've spoken about sins being forgiven for the fast of the day of Arafah. I just want to mention the hadith of Abu Qatada radiallahu anhu wherein he says that whoever fasts on the day of Arafah, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him has said that the sins of both years will be forgiven. Both years meaning the current and the coming. But that's speaking about minor sins. As for major sins, they require specific tawbah, specific repentance. So someone's committed a major sin, Allah will forgive it on condition that you seek forgiveness specifically for the sin that you've committed. And then the hadith says the best supplication, the best supplication is the supplication of the day of Arafah. So on the day of Arafah, supplicate. Now, there is a dispute amongst the scholars as to should we be with those who are in Arafah or should we be, uh, you know, following the ninth of Dhul-Hijjah. The vast majority say follow the ninth of Dhul-Hijjah because if you were to sight the moon before the people in Arafah, it would be your day of Eid when it is their day of Arafah and that would confuse things completely. And that's very possible to happen. And it has happened in the past although a long time back. But in order to prevent all of that, when it is your ninth of Dhul Hijjah, it is the day of Arafah. Sometimes it might be your day of Eid when they're still having Arafah. In that case, it's haram to fast while they're in Arafah because it's your Eid and they did not see the moon. For now, they, they happen to be seeing the moon mostly before the rest of the world. Things have happened differently in the past, may happen differently in the future. So although there is an opinion, let's not fight about it. Whichever opinion you follow, I've just mentioned what opinion I follow. But at the same time, those days are blessed days. Don't involve in fighting and dispute. That's the last thing you should do. Just praise Allah. Thank Allah. Congratulate people upon the beautiful season. May Allah bless every one of us and grant us goodness. I pray that Allah grant us supplications that are accepted. May Allah protect us, give us cure and have mercy on those who've passed on.